is worshiping him. Not going to do it because they're doing it now. In spirit. And in what? Truth. When you're worshiping God, taking him out of the box, you tell me what religion you are, and I can tell you where you have limit. God. God has no form. The form he comes in is the form that you and I bring him in. He has no form. I know, I know that some of my religions say he's fire. I know, but if we say he's truly fire, then truly we would say that God is fire. But then some say he's the air. Truly, if we say he's the air, then he is there. You know, around here we had. I had the people, amen, and we had uh, the children and everybody, and, you know, back in here, amen, <sighs> before the pandemic, you know, that was a people. I, the Lord told me to bring some, some, some uh, big boy, and I did that. I brought the big boy up, and when I brought it, these different uh, boys, they paper, they was paper, you know, the big, big paper. And uh, I bought it, and I bought some. The Lord said, "Bring some, bring some uh, uh, markers." And and we had different ones in the congregation. We put mark. I, the Lord said, "Give it to uh, different ones." We passed them out, and different ones in the seminar. Different ones. They looked at the, looked at. I said, "Now write down how you think God looked," and that's what they did. And a little bitty girl, a little bitty girl. And I said, "Anyone want to share it?" And it was a little girl. I won't forget it. She's a little girl. Amen. That was about nine years old at the time. I believe it was nine, nine or ten at that time. And she, she, uh, some people had it this way, that way. But this little girl, she had uh, like a, a, a head with a big head. And I had everybody, everybody bring the posters up all over the place. And uh, she had them. People came from everywhere. And she had a head like with a great big head. And a little bitty body. And to her, that's the way God, to her, to her, this is the way God looked into her. Amen. But then I told the people the reason why I did this little activity, because see, that's the way religion have put God. They have put God in such a form. And God don't have a form. The form he comes in is the form that religion have placed them in. Amen. Praise God. Woman said, God, come, uh, come, Lord. You, God spoke to her, she said, and God said that he was going to visit her. Well, a little, uh, she told everybody to go away because God is coming to visit her. And there was a, there was a little girl who came and was sick and needed help. She mm -hmm. ran the little girl off and said, I'm sorry. I can't help you now because God is coming. Then there was, say, a woman came that needed some food. She said, I'm sorry. I can't help you because God is coming. Then it was a man. This was a parable. And it was a man that was sick, needed help. She said she ran them off three times. She waited all day and said, Lord, where are you? God said, I came three times as a little girl, and that's a little, and that's a man, and that's a woman, and you turned me away. Now, see. I said that to say this little parable. God comes in many forms. He don't come in one form. Somebody in the audience asked me, said, Lancaster, I like to ask this question. Well, I like to know what form the woman was looking for God to come in. Amen. And that's the way religion of many of our religion have put this God in a form. When we put God in a form, we put him in a box. And it is God is too big to be in a box. Amen? When we think we have him in this form, he's changed forms. When you think you have him in that form, he done changed another form. Amen? I got to go on. I uh, shall worship the Father. So the Father, we can't put him in one form. You know, Father, he's not a man or woman, but he's a what? He's a spirit. And in truth. And when you worship God, this Father, in spirit, you're worshiping him in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. How? How? In spirit. God is a what? 
spirit. There what he is. He's a spirit. A spirit is not a man, not a boy, not a girl. The Bible tells us that the spirit, neither male or female, amen, it can manifest itself in, in a male or a female, but a spirit is like the wind. You can't see it. You can't touch it unless it reveals itself on something. Amen. But got to move it. Praise God. Spirit. Amen. It's like the light. There's like beings in this room. Uh, you can't reach out and touch it phys physically, but you can't you can't even see it with your physical eye. That's the way the spirit is. The Bible said, they that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Must worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. Now, John 11 21. Then said Martha, uh, 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 look at Martha. You might can't have to see this Martha. But that word up here is Martha. Martha, the brother of, of uh, the sister of Lazarus. Martha, unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother. Now look at this. My brother would have not died. Now notice this. Martha, there's a revelation in Martha. Martha represent a system in the rich in the spirit realm. Martha represent the church. The church is not a building. The church is a group of people. Amen. Martha represent a church that is flowing in the flesh, flowing in the corner realm after the thinking of man. Now, unto Jesus, Lord. If thou had been here, uh, uh where? Here, here. He, he was there. He was there all the time. My brother, now notice Jesus. Now, there's a revelation in Jesus. Now, God manifested in a fleshy body. Amen. Praise God. 